Do I get this question all the time? Hey, Sean, should I be investing in shine fades or hidden fades? <laughs> well, I don't know, Steve. Have you been, like, checking card values? Have you looked into the sets? Qu well, no. I mean, what the hell I do that? That's what I have you for. Okay. I'll make an episode. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be looking at... Hidden Fates versus Shining Fates. I get this question a lot. Which set should I be investing in? Which set should I be putting my money in? Which set is better? Is Shining Fates the new Hidden Fates? So rather than the speculation part of it, we're gonna look at hard data. We're gonna look at card values and stuff like that. I wanna look at both sets myself because I'm interested also. First, let's judge both sets based purely off of card value, okay? And the way that we'll do that is we'll take a $20 threshold. We're gonna count in each set how many cards pass the $20 threshold in raw cost, okay? All right, let's start with Shining Fates. So Shining Fates is, <laughs> it's gonna be easy. The answer is one. Uh, the only card that is gonna be over $20 is gonna be this bad boy right here, which is the Shining Charizard VMAX. We all know about it. It is, uh, yeah, it's the it's the big boy, and there's nothing to be said about it. We've pulled it a few times. Yes! It took us a long time to pull it, but there's only one card that is over that value, which I think is just, it's so wild. The Suicune, in my opinion, I feel like it should be a $20 card, but we can't count it on that level because it's just not. The All of these prices are based off of last sold on eBay, so the answer for Shining Fates is one. So this is going to answer the card value question real quick. In Hidden Fates, there's four, eight nine ten there's ten cards that are over the twenty dollar threshold and there's more than a few that are very close and it's likely that like on ebay you could see this glaceon if it's in a perfect condition it could very well sell for over twenty dollars so there's a there's a little bit of a gray area right with shining fates it was very definitive it's like a hundred dollars for the charizard and then 12 for the suicune for hidden fates there's so many uh there's so many cards that are selling for over twenty dollars both of them have you know obviously one thing in common which is the charizard is the top chase card and it's definitely not even close right in the between the two right so it was the sweet and charizard and shining fates and in this one it's the shiny umbreon and the charizard and hidden fates and it's just not even close but as far as the cards go there's so much more value uh when it comes to potential big hits in hidden fates than there is in shining fates all right so up next i want to talk about overall card appeal and just artwork in general and we'll do we'll, again we'll start with shining fates so when it comes to just overall card appeal obviously the one is is the charizard right i mean this charizard is sick don't get me wrong i love this card i have it loose i have it in a psa 10 i am a hundred percent all about this card one thing i will say is that i'm a bit surprised that like the skyla for example is coming in so low i mean the skyla this card is just absolutely gorgeous uh she thick for sure what did he say but at 11 dollars, i mean this card was selling at a hundred dollars loose raw obviously it was a different time it was really hard to get shining fates product when it first came out if you guys remember that there was a lot of hype around it. So like I sold one of these at $100. It's because I pulled two out of one ETB. It was freaking crazy. Uh, that was on an episode, but it's buried now. No one watched it. We, you know, we had like a thousand subscribers. <laughs> but we pulled cr like a crazy, crazy, crazy two, uh, two of these out of, out of one ETB. It was, it was insane. But these cards were selling for $100. Overall, you can see the difference. And that's because the full art shinies are just not on the same level as the Hidden Fates. They're not the same Pokemon, they're not the same caliber of Pokemon, and there's just truly overall less. I mean, like, look at the, the, the this ditto was $100 when, when this set first came out, easily. It is now $4. So this is a very, very, uh, this is a very telling sign, guys. I always, when it comes to sets and how hard I go on sets, I went, absolutely insane ham psycho on hidden fates and i still am to this day i literally hope my wife is not watching this right now it's because i believe in the set and even if the set goes to zero i'm still going to enjoy opening it right i'm still going to enjoy chasing the artworks i'm still trying to complete that set but i truly truly have high hopes and beliefs that hidden fates is going to age so well i mean it's going to be 
the banger of its generation, in my opinion. Uh, it's going to be the crazy set. That's my that's my belief, but that's me, you know. And I'm never going to tell anyone how to spend their money. Just like you're not going to tell me how to spell my, spend mine. So I'm going to spend my money the way that I see fit. And and I mean, pro tip: get some hidden fates is really where I'm at. So now let's go back into hidden fates. Obviously, guys, again, me judging the artworks is much more speculative right then looking at the hard data when it comes to the card values i wanted to start with the data because i think that's important because that also it's a determinative factor on whether or not i'm going to put my money or take a position on that set and i look at the overall card value and strengths and over time too and also i'm not going to be ignorant to the fact that shining fates has gotten reprint after reprint so that is going to drag down the values as trying to give good sound pokemon investing advice we should look back at this and reevaluate in about a year from now maybe two years when shining fates is well out of the picture and we will do that because we'll be doing this at that time and we're gonna be pokemon on youtube forever all right so let's look at hidden fates a little bit and just look at i mean you can just see this is absolute smoke on my on my screen right now i love every single one of these artworks hidden fates guys just hits absolutely different it is op 100 percent op is overpowered for those of you that don't know so you don't have to ask it is overpowered as a set 100 i mean there's just every time i scroll down i'm just I'm, I'm just getting like smacked in the face with smoke i mean it's just like smoke 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 i mean it's beautiful this set is crazy this cynthia i'm a huge cynthia fan a lot of a lot of people miss the fact that there is a shining lucario that's chilling back to back with Cynthia. A lot of people say, well, because it kind of blends in with her hair. It looks like her hair. If we look, if we look close at this, guys, this Lucario, he will bo he will bone club you in the head and it'll be super effective. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, there's a little Lucario right here. I, I'm a huge fan of this card. This was my first full art shiny, which happened to be a trainer card when i when i open this set for the first time so that th this card does have a nostalgia fee or a nostalgia point to it for me but the artwork is undeniable this thing is awesome of course guys we can't go without talking about the charizard but before we do i just want to touch on this umbreon this umbreon i've never pulled myself it is probably the one card that i'm looking for personally just for my personal collection i've never pulled it it is an absolute beauty I love this card. It is gorgeous. It's simple, but beautiful at the same time. And I want it. And I've never pulled it, but I will have it. I will pull it. And hopefully I'm videoing it so I can document it. But I do open me some hidden fates, late nights, no camera, just me and the gods. And I do open up hidden fates sometimes, just trying to, just trying to look for this guy. Uh, I've never pulled the Charizard, but I already have it. So obviously... You know, everyone wants the Charizard, but I want the, I want the Umbreon and Hidden Fates personally. Lastly, guys, we'll look at the artwork on the Charizard. I mean, the you know, it's just it's just one of those cards, man. They've repurposed this specific artwork multiple times. Uh, they've had it on a promo card. I'll throw it up on the screen. They've also had it on the Rainbow Rare for Burning Shadows, if I'm not mistaken. This artwork has been repurposed, and that's because it's freaking amazing and it's really good. And they created in a sh in a shiny format. So it's a it's a natural slam dunk. Uh, the card in person, guys, pops off of the off of the cardboard. It's a beautiful card. I'm sure a lot of you guys own this card, and if you don't, uh, maybe grab yourself one because I could see the sky is the limit on this card. I will tell you this: you will see in the, behind here PSA 10 last sold for 752. This card at its absolute peak was selling for $1,500. I saw a black label BGS of this card sell confirmed for $10,000. I pity that person. Maybe they love it and they don't pity themselves, but they obviously paid out their nose. That was crazy, a crazy sale. But in my opinion, for how expensive Hidden Fates is getting to purchase and kind of where I see the set going, $600, $700 on a PSA 10 on one of these might be an exploitative purchase for you investors on those high-end slabs on you know you big ballers in the in the vault squad might be something that you want to look at so yeah guys i want to end it right there this is just a surface level view between the two sets there wasn't too much to say i did want to answer the question for those of you that ask it you know in the comments i wanted to do my due diligence and kind of give a little bit of a deeper dive on these two sets and just let people know it's obvious 
it's Hidden Fates, right? Shining Fates is not the new Hidden Fates. Shining Fates, in my opinion, cannot compete with Hidden Fates in any way, shape, or form. Hidden Fates is in a league of its own. There's other sets that can obviously compete on some level, but when it comes to full art shinies and just the overall set in general and how much fun it is to open, there's always something to chase because the non-full art shinies are even fun, to, fun to, like Eevee, Charmander, Charmeleon. There's so much to chase in this set that it only spells dividends later on when it comes to investing value. So I hope this cleared the waters in some level. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comments because I try to get to everyone. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for me. I will see you on the next live or the next episode. Peace. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?